Oh, oh! Dude, <laughs> what are you doing? What's up, Mr. Fucking Desert Dime? So if you guys remember from about a month or two ago, we went out to Nevada and filmed with MarTech Engineering and his red second gen rock crawler, which we have out here at Johnson Valley at King of Hammers. He came out for weekend two as promised. And I know this channel is mostly like pre-runner desert crawling trails and stuff, but now we've dipped into a new field, which is rock crawling. We have a whole trail of rock crawlers coming up this crazy valley, going all the way to the top. And we got Nick testing out all of the stuff he did to his truck over the past, I don't know, six months to a year. All the R&D, all the hard work he put on is getting tested on this trip. So I think this is like officially the first full-on testing trip. Sherry's sure done some stuff here and there out in Carson, but we're out at Johnson Valley now. We're out at King of Hammers, and he's actually putting this build to work now. So if these clips for some reason do not make it into the King of Hammer uh, weekend vlog, then this was probably just gonna be its own video entirely of just Nick putting his kit and all of his hard work to the test. Supposed to keep your arms inside the vehicle, right? Come up, make sure you don't slide off that rock. Mm -hmm. 
Glad you got the bumpers on now. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, that water claw, we both gotta be spotted on it. We need a halftime report on the everything. Cause this is like, this is like your first official debut much, trip, we ran right? Like one little trail the other yeah. day, um, but it was like pretty easy. Yeah. And then this is like the technical type of crawling I do at home, but I've yeah. never done it in a vehicle that like. Like you had to worry about beating up. Yeah. Like I've always done it in trucks where it's like, oh, if I land on the door, I don't care. Uh -huh. So like to have this nice ass thing here and like me not know how to drive it, it the wheelbase is 20 inches longer than my last trip. Okay. So like almost two feet. Um, but it's fun. It's a learning experience. Now, while I would love to do GoPro shots for you guys, you really just need to be at like a third person perspective, like where I'm standing and recording the whole vehicle to really see like the flexing it is doing and the angles it's hitting. Cause the GoPro hugs the body so close. All you're really seeing is the suspension droop and compress, but you can't see the body in relation to both axles and how it's flexing out. So I don't think GoPro is gonna be our friend on this one, but um, that's what we got the camera for. Taking the rock with him. <laughs> supposed to take nature with you dude leave it on the trail time for a fender delete hey I got a fender for you on my house that was the dumbest shit you should have done that <laughs>
There's a body shop right now. Let me see. What did I do? Oh, no. Dude. <laughs> they told you to fucking back out. That's okay. Thank you. Sorry, you got to leave Jamie with yeah, a little bit of body damage. I know, right? Have you been out rock crawling before? No. What do you think? This is a... It's intense, huh? It's, yeah, it's definitely intense. It's... It's just a different ball game altogether. The grabbing now that it's bent. another fender from a junkyard and swap it on it's not the end of the world and the fucking my tire was like hey you want me to scoop up this five gallon fucking bucket rock <laughs> and i'm just like i guess that's what we're doing now it wasn't bad when you scooped it up it perfectly went up into the arch like the top center and then you kept going and rolled it back and oh, that's when dude. it fucked everything it went in perfectly fine just a little impatient, huh? A little antsy. Couldn't wait. Oh, I get super antsy, dude. <laughs> you know, it's kind, of, it's kind of like a gift shop at the end of the ride, you know? Right. You had to get something on the way out. Before it gets too dark, you need to show off the new front rear bumper because you didn't have those last time oh, we filmed. It, and you already Important? fucked up the front one, I so yeah. <laughs> no, so look, these actually came in handy perfectly. And I finally lost my excuse where I can't tell people that I'm not wheeling because I don't have bumpers. But yeah, dude, gave this a couple smacks. Uh, the sliders were the clutch one with how long this thing is. These are seven feet long. Seven feet. Yeah. Ran into him a little bit. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> Mr. Slauson. Hold on. But yeah. Had a close call on this side, dude. That was a trip. I like couldn't even see a gap in between my door. Ran into that. Everything was tits, man. Did you make the front and rear bumper yourself or so did you outsource? I made the rear. I made the sliders. And then the front bumper I got from a shop in Reno called Relentless Fab. Okay. Eric that owns it reached out to me and was like, man, I like your kits. I kind of want to do a kit. And so we chatted some more and he's like, I noticed you don't have a front bumper. What are you doing? I was like, well, let's rock one of yours. Dude. Yeah. So it's a good opportunity to collab. It's pretty clean. It's yeah. like a, it's a hybrid, right? Yeah. I scored the light bar from him and uh, that all came out bitching. He said not to break it and you He kind said, don't scratch it before we got photos, and but I kind of broke that rule. That's a little one. It's not yeah, bad. This was the only really good one I got. Oh yeah, right on the face. It's okay. You get far enough away, you don't even notice exactly, it. Exactly, dude. And then yeah, yeah the back. I made bumper. it through with no body damage at all, and then I sucked a five-gallon bucket-sized <laughs> rock into the fender. So I mean, hey, we scratch a new off of it. 
I had a great time. It didn't slip a tire. I mean, that video I'm looking forward to, that you took, I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing it. You like how I told you as soon as I pulled up to your camp, I was like, I'm not recording today. I'm just going to enjoy tonight and start recording tomorrow. And then we hit the rock trails, and you're <laughs> yeah. like, I think I'm we get my camera out. Well, see, because like out here, so much stuff, like you're hopping onto different things out here. Like, I'm going to go watch a race. I'm going to go to Chocolate Thunder. I'm going to go do this. Yeah. Like, it just turns into like a vlog at that point. You have no like premise of the video, yeah. but I think you I think you secured your own nice little, own little video again. I'm stoked, man. Snuck um, your way into the channel. To be honest, <laughs> with you like my goal this week wasn't really to crawl it a whole lot just because I like I said I was having some trouble with the rear locker yeah um, but following George in the exact same truck made life so easy yeah because he's got the same wheelbase he's got the same size tire he's locked front and rear as well so like I'm able to pick his line like watch him pick his line mm -hmm. see what works and what didn't work adjust if need be but most of the time I just stuck it exactly where he put it and it was perfect I'm glad you ended up wheeling it yeah, like this too. I think this was a solid test because yes. like you said last time we filmed you're like i haven't done any rock crawling with it i've just taken it out here in this yeah. little back lot and now you can say you've done the rock crawling yeah. you've hit you've closed a big gap in the in the r d or the yeah. the testing phase of it yeah and the kit's supposed to i mean i should i think this video is probably better than any to talk about the kit you're supposed to go into production next so month we, right we have the first batch of kits at the shop ready to get put together and shipped out nice and then uh the rear's getting getting busted out when we get home uh -huh. and uh then we're just gonna see what happens dude this trip couldn't have been more perfectly timed yeah we worked out <laughs> bitching dude and like today i took a dude for a ride in this um and like ripped it like hit a couple jumps he's like holding on by the end of the ride he's like i didn't expect that yeah and then i get up here with this and i'm like i didn't expect that. <laughs> like i like geometrically it's all dialed yeah everything like that is good um just with me being a noob to this truck i, I was just like i don't know what's yeah truck. You're learning as you go along. Yeah, but George, a man over there, dude. <laughs> he was the guinea pig George, for the whole trail. Yeah, dude. I mean, George knows the shit down here, so it's sick to have him lead yeah. the way, you know, and kind of um, take the edge off. Because, you know, you pull up to a place like this, you don't know how rowdy it's going to get. You don't know how many drunk dudes are going to be yelling at you. No, but straight up, dude, out of the box kit, this thing gets solid. Not bad, huh? No, dude, out of the box, it's, it's awesome. It works great. I'm going to get a look at these front bumper sliders and rear bumper again before we wrap it up, but... Everything's nice and clean on this now. She's rocking bumpers. This, as you saw in one of the clips, actually ended up scooping a whole boulder behind it, and he was still able to get out, get it out from under the bumpers, just from crawling straight up. It just rolled out from under. That's a clean looking bumper. I dig that, how it fills in the gap right here too. Dude, this is, this is a rad bumper, not gonna lie. Both bumpers came out really well, especially for crunch time, because I know when I talked to him, he was maybe a week or two out from coming here, and he was like still working on them, so I'm stoked on how they turned out for such a short amount of time. Well, like you guys heard me say, I honestly did not plan on recording anything uh, tonight because I got in at like four o'clock and I was like, I'm just gonna enjoy the night. I'm gonna enjoy hanging out with some buddies, do some off-roading, not have to worry about filming and everything. Um, and then start recording the next two days just hard, just hitting it hard. But um, I mean, when the opportunity presents itself, you got Nick all the way out here from Nevada testing the truck that I'm just deeply in love with, surprisingly for not being into rock crawling at all. And I'm stoked we recorded something. I'm stoked we got this whole video right here for you guys. So guys, go give him a follow. Go check out his, um, his website. Go check out his Instagram. And go check out his products because he is about to blow this market away. He's going to take over. He's going to dump it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and stay tuned for these vlogs we have coming up in the next few days. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare starring. Hand me a drink, cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink, who can